Going live in five, four, three, two. Hey FitFam, we are live on location at Wasabi on 588 Broadway. Wasabi has been open since 1999 and is part of a Wasabi group that operates under Wasabi, Chosabi, and Chochi Ramen. Today I will be meeting with Joe, the owner. He is married, has four children, born in Laos, and got into the business at the age of 22. Let's go inside <coughs> and meet Joe. This is the kitchen here. Yeah. Hey Joe. Hi there. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, welcome to my office. Yes, thanks for having us in your office. Good, good. Well, thanks for, um, you know, taking the time and um, come and learn how to make sushi. Absolutely. So what are we making today? Well, normally uh, we start out um, daily routine. So we're okay. going to, obviously, we're going to cook the rice first because okay. that takes the longest. It right. takes about 45 minutes. So I got that started already. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go to the back there. I'm going to grab some rice and we're going to make sushi rice. Okay. Okay. You know, it's a little bit... Uh, very industrial, obviously, because oh, no, okay. we we don't feed a family of two, we feed a family of a hundred. Yeah, so I have one that's ready to go here. So we'll talk a little bit about rice when I start making it over there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna go right into, watch your back. All right. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to get some um, little wooden um, pedal here. Just okay. I'll be right back. I'll just wash my hands in the Yeah, meantime. start washing your hands. Okay. <clears throat> I'm so excited. Never had sushi in a long time. Okay. Okay, so we have a rice here. Um, traditionally, we use a wooden bowl, so we don't use any steel bowl. The reason being is because um, if you use the steel bowl, the rice gets very soggy. Okay. So you do, if you use the wooden one, it absorbs the liquid and obviously the rice doesn't get too soggy. Right. Okay. So we have, we have here, we have a short grain Japanese rice. Okay. So what we use here is pretty much premium grade. As you can see, it's quite white. So it takes about half an hour to cook. Okay. Okay. So once that's done, we're going to add some uh, homemade ingredients uh sushi vinegar here okay and again we use vinegar directly from japan as well so we, we don't cut corners okay so here we got a little bit of salt a little bit of sugar in it and so, i heard that the vinegar is actually the most important ingredient in the rice is that correct absolutely got yeah it. yeah and again rice is the most in, important ingredients in sushi yes okay. okay so it's almost you know you're making a good bread you're gonna have a good rice you know same thing Okay, so we're going to add it in there. So we're going to just toss it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going to mix it up. Okay. And we're going to let it sit. Bring about, you know, about 15 minutes. Oh, it has to sit. You have to sit. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want the rice too hot. Yes. When the rice is too hot, it actually can cook the fish. The fish will change oh, the flavors. Right. The oil yes. will start to come out from the fish. Yes. Yeah, so that's why when we make sushi, uh, nigiri, we always make it fast. Because yes. your, uh, your, actually your hand is pretty warm. Right, got it. Okay. Yeah. And then it adds more moisture to the rice too. If exactly. It's, if it's hot. That's true. Okay. Yeah, so what we wanted to do is let it cool off and bring it down to about a room temperature. Okay. Okay, so, that's, um, so it doesn't get too sticky. It's as well okay so we're gonna leave that there so that's part of the everyday routine okay first thing cook mm -hmm. the rice okay okay and then obviously so we're gonna cut fish whatever is available in the market yes. right season here we have a, is that tuna um no this that's is salmon. salmon yeah this is a canadian sockeye salmon okay so it's um it's out of bc okay okay so i already dressed uh, i already cleaned it up so we're just gonna fillet it Okay. Okay. So, give it a cut here. And is that a special sushi knife too that you yes, have? Yes. Yeah. This is a special uh, knife to From cut. Japan. Japan. Yeah. So it's left-handed. Because okay. I'm left-handed. Yes, so, yeah. You know what? I'm left-handed too. Oh, and really? then every time someone's left-handed, I get all excited because <laughs> you know no one else is left-handed other than Jerome, right? But. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cut this one too. Okay. You can watch a little bit here. And did it take you a long time to learn how to 
cut the fish properly? Um, yeah, yeah. I've been doing this over 20 years now. So uh, again, each fish is different, flavor changes. Yes. Yeah, season. So mm -hmm. it's you can never have a consistent product, but right. we, you you try because it's not from experience as well over the years. Okay. So now we get the color in the salmon. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. So this is wild. Canadian well, it's wild salmon. Yeah, it's wild okay. salmon. Yeah, so this is what we use in the restaurant here. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up a little bit here. I'll put this piece over here, which we don't need. Okay, so here we have a beautiful salmon. So we're gonna clean up this part here. Okay. Okay. Just taking out the bones? Yeah, the bones. So uh, this is uh, the belly, which is, they call it the toro. Mm -hmm. So it's much more, you know, buttery, oily. Yes. Yeah. So salmon is really, really good for you. A lot of omega-3. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you, for those people who are working out, <laughs> are <laughs> conscious. So it's it's amazing. Okay, I'm going to clean this up here, which we we'll use that for later. And actually, fish is good for your, um, is it, does it help you with your brain too somehow? I think it makes you remember well, things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, they always said that, you know, brains, uh, 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 fish is good for um, kids that's growing up, right? Okay. They, they're good for brain de development. Mm hmm Okay, here. I'm going to take the bone on the back here. Oh, okay, with tweezers. With tweezers, yeah. So. Because in the store, it's always done for us. That's right. Here, because we buy them whole. Yes. Yeah, so we'll clean this out. So this is why sushi is so expensive, because all of the labor involved in That's sushi. Right. Yeah, you, you know, you just can't learn it overnight either, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything takes time. And it's an art too, I heard. It is, it is. And it's a very expensive product. Right. And it's very delicate as well. The most funny thing is, I eat sushi every day. Oh, every day? Oh, every Three day. Three times a day? No, every day, which means once a day. Oh, once a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, ne I never get sick of it, to be honest. Yeah, because there's so much variety of, of, of fish, right? Yes, yes. Right? Like, um, I just started dealing with uh, guys from New Zealand, so we're bringing in New Zealand salmon mm -hmm. coming in uh, this coming week. Okay. Snapper and New Zealand oysters as well. Okay. Yeah, so we have... Um, contacts pretty much around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got a phone call the other day if I wanted to, uh, tuna guests from the Philippines. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we did good here. I haven't had sushi in so long just because I've had two children in like three years and RJ doesn't like fish, so I haven't had sushi in so long. Oh my god, I would go like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just cut them in half. Okay, so we'll clean it out a little bit here. Okay. So we don't need to send apart, so we're gonna clean it out. So, slice. so this could be used for sashimi or nigiri sushi. Okay. And what do you do with the skin? You know what? You Actually, save it, you fry it. No, I bake it for my dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I have a golden retriever. Yes. And we used to throw them out, you know, because mm -hmm. we don't really eat salmon skin, but I started baking for him. Yes. His coat, it's so shiny. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's amazing. I think yeah. I heard about that too. Yeah, because it's got a lot of omega-3. You know, if you were to buy in the store, just a salmon skin for your dog, it's quite expensive. So here, I will get ready, and then we'll bake it for him. Okay. Lucky dog. Lucky dog. Okay, so we kind of shave it so we don't want the darker part of it. Oh, because it, it tastes different too. Um, it does taste a little bit chewier and plus it, it doesn't it look as good. Yes. It doesn't look as good. Right? And do your kids like sushi also? Oh my god, my kids love sushi. Yeah? They love okay. oysters. They love sushi. Yeah. If I'm not in business, I think I probably go broke by now. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into business? Because you started when you were 22. So uh, what made you want to open Wasabi? I started um, the restaurant at the age of 22. I, was, I started making sushi when I was 16, okay. like uh, right out of high school. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's become a part-time job and then just fell in love with, with, with sushi. Okay. Yeah, so it's um, just like I said, I could never get sick of it. Right. Right. 
Yeah, so yeah, so our first store that we started was uh, in Osborne Village. Yes. Uh, my wife and I, we started at uh, the store. And a year, year later, we opened this one. Okay. Yeah, like right literally a year after, we opened this location. Yeah. And then you have the one on Taylor also. Yes, we opened that uh, 10 years after. Oh, 10 years after. Yeah, we opened that after that. And then also we have Chosabi as well with Sushi Burrito. Yes. Yeah. And that's downtown? Um, yes, we have um, five locations. Oh, but my goodness. unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we lost two because oh, of COVID. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we're trying to make things work. So now right. we have three locations. Okay. And we also have Choichi Ramen as well mm -hmm. on Pemina. Okay. Yeah, which we make um, everything in house. We make noodles from scratch in house mm -hmm. every day. We braise the pork, um, local pork every day, and we make the soup broth. It takes about 12 hours to and make the soup broth. And that's really important too, the, the broth. Yeah. Like exactly. I heard it takes hours and hours. Like we had a show about bone broth and it took 16 hours. Yes, that's exactly it. Yeah, we're trying to extract the bone uh, um, marrow. Basically. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we have ready to go here, which, which we can use for um, neither um, pieces or sashimi okay okay all right so um we're gonna make a, uh, we're gonna go back and check on our rice and we're gonna make the roll okay so as you can see right now it's like room temperature now yes yeah so it's warm down a bit okay so if you want to taste it go ahead and try it oh okay Oh, it's very good. Yeah, it's got it tastes that, the vinegar. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness at the end as well. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna clean up here, and then we're gonna make uh, one of our most famous roll, the Winnipeg Jets roll. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I've never heard of that. Yeah. So it's Winnipeg Jets roll. <clears throat> Can you call Andy? The guy? He's gonna make. Andy. So we're just getting ready for the jets roll. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what's inside it? Um, it's got lobster, East Coast lobster, mm -hmm. um, and also shrimp tempura as well. Okay. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about how um, we're going to make the roll. So um, the seaweed that we use in the restaurants are very uh, high grade, like premium seaweed. Yeah. So most of the time, the lower grades tends to be light green in color and it tends to smell. Oh, so I see. So here it's it's roasted. Yes. So you don't really I don't really smell, smell it. it, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have sushi that's a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. You can see that fishy ocean really? kind of yeah, flavor. Didn't know that. And it gets, it's chewy. Got it. Okay. Uh, here it doesn't. Okay. So everything we use here is almost higher. Quality. So higher grade, you um, you can tell by the color and the smell. The smell and the taste if it's chewy or right. not. Right. Yeah. So even you know, the package with right gold. Oh, I see. Yeah. So yes. that's that's the brand that we've been stuck with uh, for the last twenty years. So I we tend not to use or to change our quality. Mm -hmm. Right. We always change for the better, but not for cheaper product. Right. Obviously. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. We got the rice here, so our chef here, Andy's gonna make the um, the roll oh, for Andy. us. Hi, right. Andy. Yeah, so I'm gonna move this out. So we'll make some uh, nigiri and sashimi later out okay. of this. So inside the Jets roll, uh, it's the most popular roll, I believe. Um, I love it. Everybody loves it too as well. Okay, so Andy, I'm gonna get some rice for you. Okay. So yeah, we have some lobster. So and always cleaning as you go, right? Always, yeah, yeah. yeah. The most important that. when it comes to um, making sushi, your hands gonna be clean. Yes. Everything's gonna be sanitized. Because appearance yeah. means everything too. Well, and safety as well. And safety, yeah. yes. Yeah, because you're dealing with raw product, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that everything you do is always put away quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't want anybody to get sick. Right. So here we're just chopping the lobster. Yeah. And how much lobster do you put in? Uh, it's almost a, like a tail. Almost a tail? Yeah, okay. almost a tail of lobster. Yeah. We're pretty generous. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put the whole tail in. Yeah, Why put not? the tail in. <laughs> And what's this? It's a uh, tempura crumbs. Tempura crumbs? Yeah. For crunch? Yeah. Green onions. Green onions. Spicy mayo. Oh, spicy mayo. Yeah. Okay. So how is the mayo actually spicy? What do you guys put in there? We add a little bit of uh, homemade chili sauce and a little bit of garlic. You know. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So it's not super spicy, but just a hint of spice. Got it. I wasn't sure if it was a secret or not. <laughs> Well, if it is, I think it is. We might have to lock. We, have, we might have to lock the door on you. <laughs> yeah. So we put the temporal crumbs in there. It's a nice crunch. Yes. Yeah. So. And this makes one roll. Yeah. And next, we're putting the rice. And how much rice do you put in? I say about a baseball size. Baseball size. Yeah, okay. remember that you know each of us, our hands are pretty much different in sizes, so yes. we always refer to a, a baseball, baseball or a, a softball size. Yeah, and we don't want too much rice either because it depletes the uh, um, the inside stuffing. Right. Right. Okay. So you you know if you really want to fill somebody up, you give them a lot of rice. Oh, less I stuffing see. inside. Yeah. Uh, but yes. we do the opposite. We yes. want to make sure that they can actually taste the shrimp, the lobster, mm -hmm. the avocado that that's going in there. And also, it makes it easier to roll if you don't have that much rice. Yeah, Rich. true. Yeah, you gotta have a have a perfect balance. Right. Right. Yeah, you don't want to have too much rice, or you don't have too much stuffing as well. Wow, that's a lot of filling. It's like I said, we're pretty generous. <laughs> <laughs> And so what's the, t the tip on how to roll it? Um, you kind of just want to tuck it in. Yes, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll get you to make a roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, a basic one maybe. A basic yeah, one, a basic yes. One. A little one because yeah. that, that's a huge roll. <laughs> yeah. And then what's this? Uh, that's the uh, ahi tuna. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, from Hawaii. So oh, it's from gonna, Hawaii? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna go on top of that. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful that oh, color is. Oh, look at the is. color. It's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, so usually we use ahi tuna or we use bluefin tuna sometimes, but uh, normally ahi is probably the most because bluefin now is quite a become an extinct species. Okay. So we kind of stay away from that as right, well. Right, right. I like how you guys do it by hand, and there you guys aren't using those um, sushi devices I've oh, seen restaurants oh, have, yeah. where they just shoot it in that thing, and then it comes out it's all perfect. But remember, we're we're a pro. We're, <laughs> yeah, just don't try this at home. <laughs> just come and see us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come to the restaurant. That's it's right. Good. And how many pieces does it make? This one cuts into 10 pieces. Oh, 10 pieces. Yeah. And so what is your most popular sushi, sushi roll? I would have to say this is one of them. Okay. Yeah. We also have like lobster roll as well. Right. Um, which has lobster on top. And East meets West, which we have lobster and salmon as well. East Coast lobster, West Coast salmon. Yeah, plate it. Yeah, you can plate it. So we're going to put a little bit of a nice leaf on so it gives a nice contrast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the thing that's going to go on top is we have a, a house uh, made um, honey plum sauce. So it's made of Japanese plum and okay. sisal leaf uh, and honey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so you don't serve wasabi with it too then? Um, we don't recommend it because it has its own sauce. Oh, I see. Yeah. So he's going to top it off with fresh mango. Okay. And black caviar. Look at and that. And the sauce. So beautiful. Oh. I love that leaf. I, I don't think I've ever seen a leaf on sushi before. Well, that you know, that extra touch, right? You it know, does. It really does. Yeah. And this is a Jets dog. Oh, sorry, just, not Jets dog. Jets roll. Jets roll. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your favorite roll too? Yeah, it is. 
chopstick. Jerome, one? have you tried this? No, I haven't. Okay. Here go. We will try it today. Yeah. <laughs> My husband doesn't have sushi, or he doesn't like sushi as much as I do, so I haven't had it in a long time. And then you add the sauce. Yeah, this is the honeycomb sauce. Okay, the honeycomb sauce. Yeah, that's a top secret sauce. <laughs> And then what's this? This is a black caviar. Uh, black caviar? That's right, yeah. Flying fish caviar. Uh, you're pretty generous with that thing, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so then what's the, um, the orange eggs that I've seen on sushi? Is that caviar too? Um, that's a flying fish. So there's, there's orange, um, yeah. there's orange, there's red. And there's black, mm -hmm. and there's also green, which is infused with wasabi, mm -hmm. and also another a light orange, a light yellow, which is like a, a yuzu topico. Got it. Yeah. But then the black one is the most expensive one. Um, yes. Okay, because I I don't yeah. think I've ever seen black. I've only seen the orange ones. Yeah, we're we um, I'm working on a new menu right now, which will be um, uh, bringing in more of real caviar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Russia and okay. also from um, from Canadian uh, caviar as well. To help our viewers, have you guys been to Wasabi? Viewers, I just want to know, have you guys been to Wasabi? And let me know what is your favorite menu. Oh. Okay, so that's the Winnipeg Jets roll. Oh, wow, it's yeah. so beautiful. And the yeah. flowers, I love it. It's gorgeous. Those, those are edible flowers as well. Okay. Yeah, so you do the honor. What? Yeah, what? yeah, you're going to sample it. Oh my gosh. Okay, is there a proper way on how to eat this? Um, not really. Yeah. <laughs> and just, am I supposed to use chopsticks or my hands? Uh, chopstick. <laughs> chopsticks is good. Well, you can use your hand too as well. Um, yeah. What are you comfortable you know, with? I will use, um, you know, I'll use my hands. Sure. Just because it's so big and... <laughs> okay. I'll use my hands there. And then do I just have the whole piece in my mouth? or yep. how? One yes? shot. Okay. Got it. <laughs> One shot. Mm. It's a lot of flavor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can taste the lobster, the shrimp, and then the sweetness of the mango, plus the uh, sweet and sour from it's the plum sauce. sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sauce is fantastic. Uh, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. I will come back just for that roll alone. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna move on okay. to the next one. Mm -hmm. um, Make, would you like to try to make one roll then? Yes, I would yeah? love to. Okay, Andy, you want to show her like a little demo? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, why don't we make, um, what's the most, uh, how about, I'll, I'll, sh I'll make one so then you can follow me. How's that? Okay, sounds okay? good. Um, we'll make a California roll. Okay, can we get some crab meat in there? Yeah, sure. Okay. We're going to clean up, the obviously. California yeah. roll is pretty popular. Yeah, it is the most popular. It's the safest one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> more like a, uh, I call it the Sushi 101. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, if you now have the Winnipeg Jets roll, which means you already graduated. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. I think my first roll was a California roll. Oh, really? Because it was cooked, right? So I yeah. wasn't sure how um, how raw fish was. Right. But well, that's the way to, you know, like a dynamite roll, which is like, you know, entry level as well, right? Yes. Deep fried shrimp or a spider roll, which is soft shell crab roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, can get some mayo too in there, Andy, on the bottom. So here's our seaweed that we use. Okay, so the shiny side always goes out. Okay. The rough side, you can feel it. Yes. That's where the rice goes on, Got so it, it sticks okay. better. Okay. That way, right? Even though you make a, a like a tuna roll or or a cucumber roll, mm -hmm. so the outside looks nice and shiny. Got it. Instead of this one. Okay. Okay. So now that we're doing inside out, okay. So I'm gonna show you one. Okay, and then you can do it on your own after. Okay. Okay. So I'm grab, see, and use a little bit of water. So some people think they have like oil on my hand, which I don't, right? So a little bit of water. So I'm gonna go for the rice. So it's like I said earlier, so we don't want too much rice either. We mm -hmm. just want perfect size, like a softball. Softball, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this onto this here. Okay, always clean my hand because of the starch from the rice. I have to clean it all the time. Got it, okay. okay. So I'm gonna apply this. 
into the CV. Okay, so I want to fill it all up. So there's no like green part of the CV at all, right? We're gonna cover it all up. Okay. Okay. So you can do that. Moisten my hands. That's right. Grab a baseball sized ball. Okay, my hands. You can are see sticky. that. <laughs> yes, my hands are sticky. So you don't want to do this on no. home <laughs> on carpeted area. <laughs> Okay. Wait. Okay. Should that's I good. moisten my hands uh, again? No, you can wash your hand okay. again. Yeah. Okay. I see what I like. As soon as I touched the rice, I knew it. Yeah. Well, people look. Well, we make it look so easy, right? We do. Yeah. We did it so yeah. fast. Well, I think about it. We've been, we do it every day. You know, I can literally just close my eye and make this roll. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little rice for her. Yeah. Okay. Let me moisten this again. Yeah. Just give it a good. Yeah. Rub. Okay. Perfect. Oh, there we go. There. Okay. I'm spreading. You eat it. rice at home, don't you? You know what? Us not, Asians, not we often. Eat rice. <laughs> I do. When I visit my parents on Sundays, I eat rice or rice noodles, but at home, maybe once a week. Oh, jeez. I know. I know. I'm, we're actually getting into rice again. It's because of the carbs, right? Yeah, that's true. So it's a treat, but uh, we do have rice maybe, like I said, once a week at my parents' house for sure. So I need more rice, or do I have no, to flatten no. it more? Just, yeah, you can spread it out. Oh, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. You're right, you know. It is carb, but it's a good carb. It is a good carb. <laughs> okay, I think yeah. that's decent. Yeah. Okay, All so right. now we're going to flip it upside down because okay. it's going to be inside out roll. Right. Okay. Okay, so we're going to wet this a little oh. bit here. So this is a special cutting board. Okay. Okay, mainly, mainly for sushi restaurants. There we go. Okay, so what's going to go inside is um, this is Japanese mail. Mm -hmm. It's going to, we're going to run just a line tab like that. Okay. Okay. Left-handers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So put this aside here, Andy. So this is the fish eggs that you were talking about. Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna put about one teaspoon. Okay. Just spread it just like that. Okay. It has a nice uh, salty flavor, mm -hmm. a little bit of crunch to it when you so when you bite it, it's a kind of pop in your mouth, kind of. Okay. Yeah. I think I need more. Is that enough? Oh, you're pretty generous. Oh, okay. That's not wasting ingredients, dude. Right? You know, you yeah. know that's gonna be yours, right? That's yeah. why. <laughs> put more. Put more. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna use uh, crab meat here. Okay. Just use. You can wet your hand a little bit. Okay. Okay. Which is used about, I say, a golf size. Okay. Golf okay. size. Yeah. So you know, I golf and kind of refer to golf. <laughs> okay. About that much. Okay. Wet my hands again. No, I need more than that. I need that. more than that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be yours, so just pile it. Okay. But then you don't want too much either because you won't be able to close it. Oh, I, I will close it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not enough. Okay, maybe a little bit Let's more? Let's put a little bit more, yeah. 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 I want to be full. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, yeah. got it. Perfect, okay, so again, always keep everything clean, always. Side here, so we're gonna put some avocado. Okay. Ripe in avocado, so I'll give you two slices here, or you can put three if you want. So I'm gonna put two in mine. Okay, I'll put two in mine. Yeah. It's like I said, when it gets too big, you can't close. You can't it. close it, right? Yeah. So what you want to do here is you want to just use your um, index and your thumb mm -hmm. to pick this up. Okay. And use your middle finger to hold the avocado in place. Okay. Okay. You kind of flip over like this. You know. If you know how to roll other things, this should be pretty easy. Oh, I know how to roll egg rolls. <laughs> no, that's, that's not what I'm referring oh. to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so oh. you, yeah, keep going. Oh, I got your joke now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you grew up in North End, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, keep going. Keep going, yeah. Yeah, so you want to roll it until this seam here. Yes. It's right in the, in the center of, of your roll, so you kind of stop there. Yeah, so it's gonna now shape it a little bit. Yeah, make it look pretty. Okay. Okay. So here's the secret of the trade. So we use saran wrap. Yes. Yeah. I saw that with the yeah. jets roll. That's right. So we're gonna put this on, and I'll do that for you as well. Okay. So some some places likes it round, mm -hmm. so they would shape it like a round. Mm -hmm. So as wasabi, we like it square. Okay. So that's our preference. Okay, let's right? do square. There's no right or wrong. Yeah, it just like looks better. Yes. Yeah. I so think it looks better too. We're gonna shape it like square, like that. Give it a little tug, right? Just like that. 
Got it. Okay. okay. So your preference. Okay. Let's do the square too. Yeah. Oh. We call it the uh, fit club row. Yes. <laughs> or, or shape. <laughs> perfect. Oh, I don't know if it's perfect, uh, but <laughs> oh. it's okay. It's not bad. <laughs> All right. You're hired. Okay. So now we're going to cut this up. So no, typically uh, it cuts into six pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay. So some people can cut into eight. You can do 10, but here we do six. Okay. So I'll take this out. Okay. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna just gonna line them up like this. Oh, so that's how you do it then. Yeah. To make it all the same. All the same size, right? So you can tuck that in a little bit here. So I'll finish it off to six. Okay. Like that. You can see the inside. Right? Perfectly cut. So now we're gonna plate it. Okay. Always, you know. Japanese food is all about presentation. It's mm -hmm. like an art. Yes. Yeah, it's edible art. That's what it is. Okay, so we're gonna put it here. Oh, you do another dip. Another dip, yeah, exactly. Do another dip. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that's California roll. And now we're gonna More put the flour on. No, it's always even your eyes first, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, your stomach's later. <laughs> okay, so that's a California roll. So you're gonna cut yours. Okay, so Are you, you did it knife? with. Uh, I think so. Okay. Not, not this knife. I haven't yeah. used one yeah, this yeah, long yeah, before. Yeah, this is a special knife. <laughs> and I thought that you dipped it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. All right. Okay. And then you remove the saran wrap, saran wrap, right? Correct. And then you line it together. So Perfect. It's just, oh, no, wait, this way. Yeah, I can take the saran wrap from okay. you. Do I dip it again? Um, yeah, you can dip it. Yeah, because okay. by doing that, it's just like, um, so it won't stick to the rice. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want to give that saw motion? Oh, the saw motion? Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah. So you can't press it down. Yeah. Just, oh, okay. There. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Again, we always clean a knife. Oh, yes. Always, always clean. Always clean. Doesn't matter what you do. Always keep everything clean. And then I do a quick dip, right? That's right. Okay. So. Yeah. That oh no, let's put more. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, this way. Mm -hmm. I actually think this looks quite nice. It's it not is. That bad. It is. So it's oh. not California roll anymore. We're gonna name it after you. So okay, the nary, nary roll. Nary roll. <laughs> <laughs> so you want garnish with a roll. Okay. Your choice of flour. Uh, let's do this purple one yeah. over here. Two or yeah. one? Uh, you can do one or two. Let's yeah. Let's do another one. Yeah. Add more color. There. I love it. Beautiful. Great job. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the most, I guess, famous roll around the world, right? <laughs> the basic, the entry level, the California roll. Yeah. But I think we, at Wasabi, we kind of graduated from, from there. So. Well, thank you so much, Cho. <laughs> this was so much fun. I learned so much with sushi and uh, it was really fun. Thank Good. you for having us in your restaurant. Well, you're welcome. So. Um, I was thinking of making the little uh, sashimi as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. have time for that? Yeah, or, I yeah, do. Little, I, yeah. I always have time for, okay, for free stuff, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, no. So, yeah, my favorite way of eating sushi is sashimi. Okay. Yeah, always. Because every season changes from summer, spring, fall, and winter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what's available in the market. Got it. Right? So that's why I source this all the way from New Zealand to Philippines. Okay. Um, all the way to Boston mm -hmm. as well. Uh, Seattle. Okay. And of course, Skiji Market, which is from Japan. Yes. Yeah. So our product comes in like two, three times a week, mm -hmm. pretty much around around the world. Just like and I said, uh, we're getting king salmon from New Zealand oh, like, right. next coming week. And so for our viewers that don't know what sashimi is, what is that? Uh, sashimi is strictly fresh cut of fish okay yeah so if you wanted to really um eat good sushi or yes. or, or you go um to a restaurant and yes. you really wanted to know if that restaurant is very good what they do yes you would eat sashimi got it okay yeah yeah and that's how actually we sashimi is almost like an appetizer mm -hmm. so when you come to a japanese restaurant you would start out with, with sashimi mm -hmm. right and then you would do nigiri which is like pieces of fish on top of rice okay yes right individually yes so you can pick and choose whatever is available in the sushi case mm -hmm. and after that you feel like you're not super full mm -hmm. you might have some tempura from the kitchen yes. some cooked items mm -hmm. in the kitchen and and you feel like oh boy i still need more food yes right and what do you do 
You eat sashimi. No, you eat、right. the roll. Or you eat the roll. Well, because it has the most rice. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So that would fill you right up. It's、yes. like, yeah, I can't afford any more. I'm gonna just <laughs> cap it off right now.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna set this up for、okay. sashimi. I'm just gonna wash my hands again. Yeah, absolutely. I've had sashimi before, and、uh, like it's just food court sashimi, but、okay. it was partly frozen. Um, majority, okay? yeah, majority is fresh for、yes. sure.、Um, tuna's I mean, fresh. It, it was fresh. It just tasted like they froze it. Yes. Or maybe because、um, to make it easier to slice, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe just to、uh, keep or to、uh, serve, I guess. Here we only the only fish that we freeze is salmon. Okay. Yeah. The, the reason being is because it, it goes out in the ocean. Then it comes back in a, in a, in into a, a, a lake water,、Got、so、it. there's potential parasite. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we would、um, you know we would freeze it、mm-hmm. for sure for about 24 hours,、mm-hmm. and then then you can thaw it out, and、mm-hmm. then you can serve it. Okay, didn't know that. Yeah. So if you talk about tuna snapper and all that, you don't want to freeze it because it changes the the whole、uh, flavor. But、okay. salmon is okay. Salmon's okay. Okay, so I always yeah we always try to put the, our sashimi on on ice because first of all it looks better yes and it keeps the、um, the the coldness oh I yeah, see yeah yeah、okay. so if you serve sashimi on a regular plate in a room temperature what it happens is it warms up yes and the oil of the fish start to release and、okay. then it gets a little more f- like f- fishy okay okay so I have of course the salmon I cut earlier. Um, maybe we'll have some tuna as well. So Andy can pass that. Okay, here we have available is、uh, amaibi. It's just starting in in season right now.、Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a sprout prawns out of、um, BC, Vancouver. It's a Canadian product, so we always try to support you know Canadian business right, as well. Right. Right. Yeah, and also surf clam from East Coast. Okay. Okay, and the scallop is unfortunately is Hokkaido scallop. It's from Japan. So、oh. it's one of the best scallop in the world. So is this cooked or is that raw? Um, this is cooked. Okay. Yeah, it, this is raw and this is raw, fresh、oh. raw. Oh, fresh <laughs> raw. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're gonna cut it up. So, you know, everything we do, it's all about presentation. And so, what are those leaves again? Um, this is almost like a, a banana leaf. Okay. Yeah. So it's all, you know, it aesthetically looks really good. Yes. Yeah. So a little shredded. Carrot here for garnish. Okay, a little nice color of beets. Oh, that's beets. Yeah, this is beets. I thought it was banana flower. <laughs> I thought it looked like banana flower. I guess where we come from, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I'll just put a little green. So I need some green color here. And what's this? Uh, just a spinach. Spinach. Yeah, just spinach and green here. Okay. All right, so we got some shrimp. So we're gonna just peel the shrimp, get it ready. I've never had raw shrimp before. No, oh, you know, it's super sweet. Super sweet. Really sweet. Really,、yeah. I thought it would be salty. No, no. Okay, so we're gonna cut about maybe half inch thick. Okay. Okay. If you're generous, you can go one inch or three quarter inch, <laughs> but you know. But I kind of like the size of being a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah. you can bite it too. Right, right, right. right. So See,、thick. there's some bone that's still left in there. Yeah, you want a proportion. You know, you don't want. So I'm gonna cut this here. I'm gonna give you a nice, maybe three slices. Okay. Take right up here. Here, some、uh, tuna. Three. Tuna, salmon, salmon, and some surf clams, Canadian surf clams. Okay, so we're gonna tenderize it a little bit. Clam tends to be a little bit chewy, but it has a very sweet flavor. Okay, so do that. Okay, we're just gonna use the shrimp head here, garnish. Oh, that's for garnish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we can also、so you know we、having. can also deep fry as well after. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If the guests are requesting it to deep fry,、mm-hmm. we can actually bring it back and we、we'll、deep fry them. Oh. Them good to know. Yeah, it's very tasty. So you take the shells out. Okay. Okay. You want to split it in the center here, clean it up a little bit. Okay. Make sure there's nothing inside. Just nice. Oh、clean. yeah, there's no vein. Yep.、Yeah. And you leave the tail on. Ten. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. 
I'm going to put a little Hokkaido scallop here. So yeah, color-wise, we have to kind of like mix and match, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want, you know, like deep color together. So you kind of break it up, mm -hmm. you know, deep color with light color. So it kind of pops up, right? Yes, it does stand out. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to put a little bit of lemon on. Here. And of course, you know, we have this right now because it's in season. It's winter's coming, but you have to enjoy this flower. Whatever flower. Okay. So that's called sashimi, right? So it consists of salmon, tuna, sweet shrimp, Hokkaido scallop, and syrup clams. Yeah. And of course. And how do you normally eat it then? Just, just as is? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Andy, can we get uh, soy sauce, please? So we're going to put a little soya and wasabi. Yeah. So you're going to sample. I'm going to sample it? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a correct way on how to have um, your soy sauce and your wasabi? Because I heard that you're not supposed to mix it. Um, yeah, if, if but you most people do anyway. Yeah, because people love the wasabi. I traditionally I don't like it because it's kind of overpower the delicateness of the uh, seafood. Okay. Right. So I would just normally do like soy sauce, but now you know these days, what what makes our clients happy and that's what we do. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> well, you can try both. Right? Okay. One with the wasabi. Okay. One is just regular soy. Okay. Okay. And again, we always have ginger, which cleans your palate. Mm-hmm. Love right? ginger. Yeah, this is a, um, you know. But this <clears> is white. I've only seen pink ginger. Yeah, pink ones are, are we don't really use it because they put dye into it. So it's not as healthy. Oh, I didn't so, know yeah, that. The, so ginger is usually this color, right? Yes, Yeah, yes. This, is, this is natural. Okay. So there's no dye in it. And usually when they make, put the pink in, they so call why, it. why do they dye it then? Uh, they call it the sakura, which is like a pink color, like mm -hmm. cherry blossom. So you mm -hmm. want to make it like aesthetically, you know, oh, I it looks see. good. Right. Here it looks kind of dull, right? Yes. Yeah, when it's pinkish, you're going to like, oh, yeah, I, I really want to eat that. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Okay. Well, dig in. All right, I'll, I'll have one piece. Okay. You know, I'm just going to stick with... Um, the salmon? Oh, I'll stick with the salmon. Well, I, a lot of omega-3, so it's good for your workout. Exactly, it's good for my workout. Yeah. <laughs> So anybody out there that likes sashimi, or you just like the roll? Yeah? Mm, I like both, the roll and the sashimi. Yeah. Has anybody ever had the Winnipeg Jets roll at our location yet? If so, comment below. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you could try the scallop. Scallop, it's really, really sweet. It's one of my favorite okay. sashimi you to know, eat. I've never had raw no? scallops. Okay. No? Well, you're going to eat this is my first one time. piece of everything today. Oh my goodness, <laughs> okay. You know what they say, if you can have Sushi for breakfast? Yes. We call it rich man's breakfast. Okay, this is a rich man's breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's is that simple, clean, sweet? It's actually really good. I'm I'm trying yeah. to break down what I'm tasting. Yeah. Yeah. No aftertaste, right? There's no aftertaste, but um it was actually very refreshing. Yeah. I don't know. I can't describe the taste, but it tastes really good. I like yeah, it. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, because it's cold, mm -hmm. first of all, and it's psychologically, you're, you know, it's on ice. So you psychologically, you tell yourself it's, I think it's, it's going to be fresher. It's on ice, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to try the shrimp. No. No? <laughs> no. How about I can't. the tuna? How about the tuna? The tuna, tuna I can't. Okay, the let's shrimp, do the tuna. I'm, I'm not there yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, not or not? Uh, let's try it in this one. Okay. Yes. So okay. A little bit of heat. Okay. Okay. A little bit of heat. Okay. That's very light too. It's very good. Yeah, very simple as well. Mhm. Mm I think my favorite is um is a tuna. A tuna. I didn't think that I would like it the most because I've always had salmon, but I like the tuna. You know. I think uh, for beginner, for people that eat sashimi or sushi, they always love salmon because mm -hmm. of that oil texture. Yes. Yeah, it's easy to, to eat, right? Yes. And it's very tender, a little bit sweetness at the end. Yes. That's great. But the the tuna, I didn't really have an aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, so because it it, really it, it's fresh. It's 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 really clean, basically. Yes. There's yeah, no fat content at all. Okay. Well, Cho, thank you so much for having us in your restaurant. It was so much fun, and I enjoyed everything. I don't know what's my favorite. But well, thank you. That, thank you for having us. The scallops was surprisingly really good. Well, it's my favorite. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Bye now.